Hi, I'm Leslie, Associate Director of the Center for Gender Equity, and I'm here with a Winter Reads list. The first one is actually a collection of poetry. It's Yehuda Amichai, Open, Closed, Open. He's one of my favorite poets. This is one of my favorite collections. In many ways, he reminds me of Pablo Neruda or Walt Whitman. His poetry is on the one hand very intimate and on the other hand very expansive and capacious. And there's this interplay between the smallest of moments between you and one other person and how those little moments feed into the moments we have with everyone. And that kind of back and forth between the really intimate and small and the daily kind of interactions and the larger community and history and how we all as individuals are part of that arc of history. The second one is gonna be Barbara Kingsolver's The Poisonwood Bible. I love Barbara Kingsolver. I first read The Poisonwood Bible when I was in high school and it inspired me to get my degree in English. So in that way, it'll kind of always have a special place in my heart because it kind of set me on the trajectory to be where I am now. It follows four sisters, so they changes point of view from chapter to chapter. And they take this journey with their father. He's a missionary worker. And the novel kind of explores how we learn about who we are and how we navigate our family history. And again, it's that interplay between the individual and that larger community family. The third one is going to be Ann Patchett's State of Wonder. And this is another novel of journeys. It follows a doctor and she's sent to the Amazon to find and search for her, her mentor. And again, it's that kind of learning about who we are as people and who we are in relation to our community. And I'm actually gonna read a little bit of this. I didn't tell you because you wouldn't have liked the story but that matters less now, doesn't it? No one tells the truth to people they don't actually know. And if they do, it is a horrible trait. Everyone wants something smaller, something neater than the truth. Which I thought was a nice kind of representation of what I'm hoping the winter list does is that kind of reflection on the truth and who we are. I think the end of the year is a good time to do that. The last one is Britt Bennett's The Vanishing Half. This is a fairly new book. It just came out this year. And uh, I'm actually reading it right now. The CGE does a reading group and this is our current read. I love it. Again, it's that who we are and how we navigate our individual identities in relation to groups because our own identities don't really mean much without that kind of group to, to understand us or to not understand us or it's what gives meaning to the identities that we hold. And all of these I think are really great explorations of what it means to be a person in the world. I'm hoping that you'll be inspired to pick up at least one of these as part of winter break. And if you're interested in joining our reading group, I'm also going to include information about that. We'd love to have you join us. So thanks and I hope this was helpful.